I guess it's been a while since I last made a video, um, but hopefully I should be making more in the coming months, and I'm hoping that by putting this out there, it will kind of make me do it. So anyway, this chair, I was giving it to decorate for a little girl's bedroom, well not even a little girl, a little baby's bedroom, and because she's so small and cute, I didn't want to, well I was really aware that it could easily go wrong with my style of art because I, I love painting with black paint, I love dark images and it became really apparent that you're not going to be allowed to do this this time Emmy. So I started with the legs because I thought well at least if I mess them up I can try and recover them a little bit easier probably than if I started on the seat of the chair. So I started thinking kind of Alice in Wonderland, fairy tale, a bit quirky, something that she might still hopefully like when she gets older, but she doesn't have to so that's another thing. Um, but here's the seat, I did it similar colours to the, well exactly the same colours as the legs but sort of sponged it out so that um, it blended in with the white. I didn't want too much colour all over because I thought it might be a bit much especially with the black and white I was going to say seasoning, um, stripes on the legs and um, the same that I did on the sort of back of the chair, which you will see in a minute. Um, but here are the legs and I alternated the lavender and pink between the front and the back legs. And then I mirrored the black and white stripes from the bottom of the legs on the back part of the chair just to give it some consistency and uh, I was quite worried that it was going to be too much but I think it looks okay so that was good and then the rest of the uh, background for the chair I used the gradient of lavender and baby pink just so that it all tied in together When I started working on the seat of the chair, I was really struggling for ideas of what I wanted to do. I decided to go with a more foresty vibe and chose to go with ivy and vines because there was a lot of damage done to the chair because it was old and there's holes in the, in the back and I thought it would be really nice to have the vines intertwining with the legs or intertwining with the holes and at this point I wasn't sure how <laughs> how much ivy there was going to be. Um, I was just aware that I didn't want it to end up looking like it was something out of Woodstock. So I tried to limit it to a sim more simplistic design and I used the pinks and the purples in a darker variation as I did with the legs just so that there isn't too much going on. And this first set of leaves took me absolutely ages. Um, I have no idea what was going on with me but for some reason I was just, I just couldn't do it for ages. Um, but then once I finally got into the swing of things, I was I was into the ivy leaves, I was I was living the ivy leaves, and I decided to take the brave step of putting more black paint on the chair. Why? So I did the vines solid black. I wasn't sure if it was even gonna look any good, but I don't know, it worked it worked out for the best. I think I like it, so you know, wasn't sure what to do about the veins of the leaf. I tried pen at one point, didn't work. So just stuck with paint, white paint, um, and smudged it out with my finger a little bit as it was drying, just so that it wasn't so in your face. Um, and this is a little overview of how far I'd got at that point. So the little girl, her middle name is Rose, so I thought it'd be nice to maybe sneak a few little roses onto the design 
So I chose two roses for the back and two, I th hang on, no, two roses for the front, sorry. Um, and just put a few basic shapes down in pencil and in paint so that I could add detail later on. I also carried on, as you can see, with the ivy leaves and that design. I was quite pleased with myself because I came up with the idea that the well, the chair came with a little hole in the in the top of it, um, and in a way of concealing it, I decided to have the ivy leaves spilling out from the little hole, as you can see there a little bit, um, and I was quite pleased with myself. Yeah, more leaves, more ivy, more vines, more pink, more purple, more more black paint. It was all swirls and nature this time around. This is a little glimpse at the back of the chair. I did the same kind of process as I did with the front, just penciled out the design just ivy leaves this time um, and then painted it on. I did this little butterfly in the top right hand corner of the seat. Um, it was a little bit harder than I anticipated purely because my brush was just a piece of crap. It wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't uh, cooperate for me because the bristles are all... I just, I need a new little brush. Okay. I need a new little brush. And then as the final step, I just used um, a black fine, fine liner to highlight some of the details on the leaves, on the roses, and just bring it all together. And that's the final chair. So younger. Here's the chair from some other fancy angles. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Hopefully I'll be making some more videos really soon. So maybe subscribe if you want to keep an eye on what I'm doing. And that's it. See ya.